Hello and welcome to this Concern Worldwide presentation. My name is Connor Murphy and I am part of the FAST Youth Ambassador team in St Michael's College. Our aim is to help raise awareness about Concern Worldwide and their humanitarian work and to tell you all about our fundraising campaign called FAST. First, let me tell you more about Concern. They are a leading international humanitarian organisation. The communities Concern help are in some of the hardest to reach and most fragile places on the planet. They work in places prone to conflict, like Syria, or natural disasters, like the earthquakes in Haiti, or man-made disasters, like the explosion in Lebanon in August this year. Concern go to places dealing with climate change effects. These places are faced with droughts or the effects of climate and environmental shock like the locust swarms that destroyed crops in East Africa earlier this year. Many of these places face extreme hunger and in some cases, famine. But late last year, the world was hit by a very different kind of disaster, a deadly global pandemic, the coronavirus. The coronavirus has had a colossal impact on worldwide hunger, increased food prices, loss of jobs, and lack of access to nutritious food now means that millions of people do not have enough to eat. Experts predict that we're on the brink of the worst hunger crisis in 50 years. You can see Kenya highlighted on this map along with 22 other countries concerned working. The latest poverty data from the World Bank indicates that 36 people in Kenya are still living below the poverty line. I want to virtually introduce you to a family that lives in Nairobi, Kenya. This is Jane, a 24-year-old mother and her 11-month-old son, Mark Moses. Before the outbreak of COVID-19, both Jane and her husband worked, but are now un are unable to make a living. The family has zero income. She is currently living in a single-room apartment and shares a bathroom with 22 other families, making social distancing impossible. She is extremely worried about little Mark Moses, that he is not going to get enough food. Jane has brought Mark Moses to a nearby health centre, which is supported by concern. The staff have assessed his health condition and have discovered he is very underweight. He has been diagnosed with acute malnutrition. Jane was supplied with a course of therapeutic food and after one month, his weight increased gaining a kilo. Jane told Concern that his immunity has improved. He is now walking, standing up, has much more energy and is jumping around and smiling. When asked if she had a message for the public, Jane stated, I don't lose hope that Concern continues helping us and that God will bless them. We need to support and hope that people continue with that. Concern helped Concern need help to raise funds so we can continue providing life-saving support and treatments for family like Jane's. And this is where we all come in. So let's talk FAST. FAST is a fundraising campaign taking place in November. A FAST is a 24-hour sponsored challenge. Traditionally, this has been a food FAST that you ask your friends, family and neighbours to sponsor you for. But what about a digital FAST? Can you go without your phone, tablet, or any other digital device? Could you ignore social media, give up gaming, and lock up your phone? We invite you to take up the challenge. What can you do? If you're going to take on a food fast, I have some tips for you. Please pick a day that works for your schedule. Fast after a big meal and drink plenty of water. If you feel genuinely ill or extremely dizzy, eat a small healthy snack and drink water. If you suffer from an underlying medical illness or condition, please choose a different challenge. We are hoping to run a non-uniform day in the coming weeks to raise further funds for Concern Worldwide. Remember, our fundraising efforts will provide much needed therapeutic food, train community health workers, and fund life-saving screening programs in the clinics helping to ensure mums and babies, like Jane's, get the food, nutrition and healthcare they need 
to recover from malnourishment and not only survive, but thrive. £406 will fund a course of therapeutic food for eight children. £745 will fund three community health volunteers for a full year. £960 will fund a community screening programme for 10 people. Thank you for listening. The Concern Fast has been a great tradition in our school over the past 30 years. During this time, St Michael's students and their families have changed the lives of thousands of people as a result of their kindness and generosity. As the FAST ambassadors have already explained, at this time, more than ever, our support is needed in poor countries. So today I am urging year 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14 students to consider participating in the Concern 24 hour fast on Thursday the 19th of November. There will also be a whole school non-uniform day on Friday the 13th of November. In relation to the fast, due to current COVID-19 restrictions, fast forms cannot be distributed this year and sponsorship money can only be donated via the Just Giving page. This link to the Just Giving page will be shared with students via Teams, with parents via text message, and it is now currently up on the school's Facebook and Twitter page. I will chat at another time about how to keep a record of the donations, and that's for those students who are going to agree to do the fast. Finally, a massive thank you to our four Concern Fast Ambassadors, Cahill Raverty, Niall Spillane, Harry O'Hare and Connor Murphy. Thanks for listening and also thanks for all your support with our fundraising efforts over the years.